You're welcome back to the Afia Morning Show. It's time for Around the Region. And we begin today in Abakali, Kine, Boeing State, where the Boeing State government has reiterated its commitment to ensuring the restoration of permanent peace in all warring communities in the state. The Commissioner for Information stated this while briefing newsmen in his office on the outcome of the state's Executive Council meeting. Afia TV newest correspondent in Abakaliki, Simon Ezaka, has the details. Apart from all the practical steps taken by the State Government to resolve the communal crisis in the state, including media advocacy and campaign for peaceful coexistence, dialogue with warring communities on the essence of respectful and promotion of human rights as the foundation for sustainable development in social relationships. A Boeing State Commissioner for Information and State Orientation, Engineer Jude Opo, has underscored the setting up of white paper implementation committees to implement government white papers as developed from the recommendations of fact finding peace committees. They certainly have approved the gazetting of that white paper because the meaning thing is to the Commissioner for Justice and the Commissioner for Information. So we cannot release. The meaning of the excellence to people is only after it is gazetted, it then becomes a public uh, document that can, people can now apply to the ministry and they can get those white papers. But as I'm talking with you, the council have directed the peace committee and the petition committee to read the whole content from A to Z. Because white paper, if you consider a report, a committee, it is not binding on the government to take all and entire the recommendations of the committee. Government has the right to accept some, note some, and reject some. According to him, the point state governor right to Honorable Francis Mwifro as in line with his people's chapter of needs principle, put in place step by step far reaching measures to resolve all intra and intercommunal crises that have ostensibly mad development initiatives in the state. The commissioner mentioned some of the communities enveloped in the crisis to include Amana and Ohankundu Falike, Abomege and Ishinkwo, Efyom and Zaefyom, and the Nimego and the Pomaka communities. There are different layers of implementation. And like, uh, if you recall what, we, what, what, our, what I said, that government to implement this what context of the white within the limit of the resources. Because there are part of the implementation that needs some infrastructural you know intervention from the government. There are some that needs you know different kinds of intervention. So it is something that the government will continue to you know handle step by step. It's a gradual process. But I want to assure you that the swiftness that the government the council commanded and instructed uh, the SNC to inaugurate those implementation committee speaks volume of the readiness of government to make sure that time is not wasted to ensure that lasting peace returns to the administration. In Abakaliki, Simon Zaka reporting. Thank you for that report. Simon, I think in Enugu State, it's also time that we have some kind of committee to deal with all these uh, communal disputes yeah. involving land, involving actors in the community, involving hectares and hectares of land. Perhaps with time, we'll see something of that nature. Most definitely, Douglas. We need to put a stop to all that sad, ugly stories, you know, yes. emanating from some uh, part of Enugu State all the time. People, you know, dragging land killings and all that bully and stuff right because even discrimination you have some people being yeah. discriminated from certain places because of their religion you know some of them are exiled and then they end up losing it's a sad story you know but it's important for uh, the government to do something about these communal disputes mm -hmm.